That was amusing. I literally thought that wheelbarrow was actually a person. Yes. Well, sometimes they, they you know, the, the the war of the wheelbarrows. It's gonna it's gonna be coming up very very soon. People are gonna be saying, "Oh, I remember Gardeners World back in the day. They were a very peaceful, peaceful program, and now, and now they're they're, they're causing wheelbarrow wars all over the place." Hello reformers and welcome back to Freeman. Now when we left off we were not defending against a whole bunch of invaders from the ARF and uh, we're gonna hopefully be able to defend against them. There's only 41 of them so it really shouldn't be too bad. We're gonna just jump right in here. As you can see I've just sent off a bunch of my snipers over to this hill because that's gonna be where we rain down death and destruction upon them and uh, well I've actually just left the rest of my units around here because if the enemy decides to come down into this valley this small hill that we're currently on here is going to provide a very effective vantage point and hopefully that's going to prevent any unnecessary losses on our part. Now I'm going to look out for a new scope by the way for our LMG here because this LMG while it's pretty fantastic from reasonably long range the scope itself is not really lending itself to too much of an advantage it's not really giving us that much in terms of vision from where we are attempting to shoot from so you know this scope is absolutely fine for things you know from like medium range but anything longer than that and it's gonna be kinda of difficult so I'm gonna try and see whether we can maybe do something about that maybe we'll get an ACOG scope again cuz an ACOG scope is pretty good when it comes to slightly longer ranges from you know from medium to long range not extreme range obviously but you can see here th th this is a, a decent a decent uh, decent scope and it actually does react very very nicely in many many situations I mean, it doesn't have the, the same kind of sway that the ACOG has. I don't exactly know whether the ACOG is fixed now because it used to be kind, I think, a little bit too prone to swaying when you were moving your character around. So I wasn't a big fan of it too much. I'm actually going to start moving these people forward a little bit here because I don't know whether you can see, but apparently the, the little, little s slope here is actually preventing our units from getting any line of sight on the enemy so once they have moved it you know moved a little bit forward that's obviously gonna make much more sense I'm actually gonna move a couple of our people over here as well I'm just gonna make on the fly adjustments to whatever we really need here because I didn't really want to move our people into the actual town I think that's maybe not the best idea but maybe we'll do a little bit of that so let's just move them around here something like that and to be honest most of the enemies are gonna die from these squads right where I am I, I personally feel like that's gonna be the case there's only 18 of them left and most of them have already been eliminated that shows just how effective they are and you can see the the sharpshooters just absolutely going to town bear in mind that the sharpshooters I have for the most part are all upgraded they are absolutely all upgraded in terms of their marksmanship in other words their accuracy is really really good and uh, I think the only thing that isn't really upgraded on them is their health most of the time and that's kind of a mistake on my part I feel like I should probably upgrade that but at the time when I was upgrading I didn't have that much money and I still don't have a lot of money I have 16,000 or so which is absolutely fine but bear in mind that the wages I'm currently having to spend is about 6,000 so you know you've got to be a bit careful there but you can see we absolutely murdered them no problem at all and then, oh that's kind of amusing my machine gun yes my machine gun that I'm actually using right now is available for loot oh well never mind okay we're just gonna take as many pieces of loot as we can get our hands on and maybe a little bit of 50 caliber ammo and some food as well sounds good to me and uh, oh yes I did actually try and persuade all of our prisoners and I think every single one of them but two managed to be persuaded so that's pretty awesome I can actually just place a whole bunch of units 
just basically anywhere. I, I, I'm not really too bothered about where they're placed at the moment. I am actually going to place these sharpshooters in there. And I don't think we have any bandits. So I'm just going to place a juggernaut in there, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, these, these guys are kind of mixed, aren't they? I guess I'll place a sniper in there. And we do have a couple of others here as well. Let's let's just place a couple of FCA and a Posner Rifleman in there. Just to kind of try and mix and match the squads a little bit more nowadays. Because I feel like that provides much more versatility to them. And, uh, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> apparently there's a little bit of confusion as to why... I am running around with squads of five. Well, there's a, there's a very logical reason for it. It's nothing, not not any due to me having some kind of weird, you know, fascination with the number five or whatever. But no, it is literally just because our commanding skill allows us to have 55 units on the battlefield at once. So if I have squads of five, I'm able to have exactly the amount of squads that I would want to have on the battlefield at any one time. There's never going to be a time where we will not have the full amount of troops on the battlefield because of squad sizes being at seven or eight or even nine units. Because if, if you could imagine just having nine units in every single squad, you could probably do okay, I think. You, I mean, you might be able to get... Mm, no, I don't think you will be able to get all of them on the battlefield because 55, that's not going to allow it. That's that's not going to allow it at all. So, yeah, if you do want to have, you know, full amounts of, of troops and, and indeed, you know, singular units on the battlefield, then you've got to consider how much is going to go in each squad. And that's exactly what I've done. So, yeah, otherwise, uh, I'm actually unsure what we should do now because, of course... The FCA, you know, we did take their last town, and I haven't been able to find their last general. I'm, I'm not entirely sure where it is, but I've looked around. I, you know, I've, I've traveled from Antipil all the way over to Litvin, and basically all of the old FCA towns, and I haven't been able to find them. I, I, I mean, I guess they could be around here somewhere, very, very, maybe a very small party. And uh, they're just kind of hanging on by the skin of their teeth, I guess. I, I, I guess this could this could be a general. This might actually be a general, so maybe I'm going to wait around here. Actually, never mind. It's kind of pointless for me to wait around when they're embroiled in a battle with so many people. Uh, yeah, there's a Posner Recon group right there. Hmm. I guess the easiest thing for us to do right here is to actually try and take Chinivka, and I guess that's what we're going to do. There's, uh, there's not much more I can do right now, with the exception of hunting down those FCA, and uh, the, uh, the world map at the moment is currently starting to lag a little bit, because I think there's a lot of bandits being spawned, and obviously we are taking over the map, and, uh, well, obviously the enemy factions, they don't like it, so they're lagging out the map, yes, exactly. Anyway, let's attack them. See what we can do here. Obviously, we're going to be up against 55. Yeah, 55 enemy units. So that's that's kind of amusing because we're actually going to be spawning in exactly 55 units. And as a result of that, I'm actually not going to spawn Poseidon in here because they only have four. So you can see here ex exactly the reason why I have squads of five. 55 out of 55. Pretty amazing. So yeah, anyway, we're going to go... Uh, oh yeah, what am I actually going to do here? Alright, so let's let's actually just take our sniper squads, and I think Hades also has a bunch of snipers. So let's take them, and let's actually just go like so. This is this is kind of a weird, a weird setup for a town, but I guess we're just going to go for something like this. And uh, I, I guess what we could do is we could send these to like this and then I guess what we're gonna do is this is this is kind of coming a, becoming a bit of a standard maneuver for us where we are just having a couple of scapegoats so to speak and they're basically just kind of getting uh, a bunch of the enemy to get riled up and and try and focus on them a little bit so yeah we're just gonna try and move a couple of people like that and 
Actually, you know what? Let's take these two. And we're going to take them over here. And we're going to we're going to go a little bit of a, a little bit of a flank. Going to going to go like that a little bit and we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to stay generally around the front here because I kind of want to cover our bandit squads a little bit because I don't want them to die just for nothing, you know? I mean, they are generally, that's what they're for, you know? They're for, you know, distracting the enemy as much as possible. But I still don't want them to die for nothing. So I'm going to try and cover them just a little bit. Is that an enemy right there? I think he's dead, that guy. There is someone shooting from behind the sandbags, though. Oh, hello. And a lot of people, by the way, from the comments, are seemingly wanting me to use full auto with this uh, with this LMG. I think that's probably going to be kind of hard to control from longer range. So that's generally the reason why I don't do that kind of stuff. But if at some point I feel like full auto is necessary, I'm definitely going to go for it. No problem at all there. I'm actually getting absolutely murdered here. Am I literally being shot through the wall? I don't think so. I actually thought I was getting shot through the wall there because there was a whole bunch of bullets coming in. Okay, so let's actually just take a quick look and see what's happening outside here. Ah, okay, so these are the fellows that are actually shooting at me right now. And it seems like we're losing a whole bunch from the Hermes squad. Oh, that's a, that's a bit weird. Why would they get shot at instead of the others? I, I guess my, maybe they were just a little bit low in HP when they entered here. Maybe that's the case. Well, let's see what's going on out here. Hello. Ouch. Okay, that is that is kind of harsh. Okay, well, I'm going to just uh, yeah, it seems like there's something weird going on with the collision of the of the wall over there. So it is allowing bullets through, but it's not actually hurting me at all. So I guess that's okay. Oh yeah, I I think I know what the problem is with the Hermes squad. They've not been in battle for a very long time. They've actually been on backup duty for, I think, basically as long as this series has been active. So, yeah, that's probably the reason why they're a bit rusty. They are definitely a bit rusty. Just going to try and shoot from this window here. See if I can get a decent enough vantage point. Yeah, there we go. That ARF Marine did not know what hit him. Seems like we're doing reasonably so far. I'm actually going to move these guys a little bit further down here because, let's face it, they're probably not doing anything at the moment. Let's move these as well, like this. Let's actually swap them around a little bit. There we go. And uh, the, once these Poznan sharpshooters get into range, it's just going to be an absolute bloodbath, so that's nice. Let's move our bandits in a little bit. Uh, it seems like... On the flank here is where we are taking most of our casualties. I'm actually going to get Hermes out of there, even though I would like them to get a little bit more combat experience. Even though it's kind of weird how they would be rusty. They're not They're not really rusty. That's just an RP thing. But, you know, they're kind of uh, not doing as well as I anticipated. But I guess that might be because they're just mercenary units and they're not actually specialized in any way. They're kind of just standard run-of-the-mill units, I suppose. Yeah, it seems like we're actually getting a very nice strategy going here. You know, kind of like a quintessential strategy that we seemingly are able to use in basically any situation, which is quite nice. Let's move these guys a little bit more to the front here. There we go. And we can actually move these fellows in now as well. Uh, there seems to be a couple of people still there, so let's just be a bit more careful. We're not going straight in, of course. And I was just standing there. Yes, wasn't that wonderful? Yeah, just be standing there commanding my units. That sounds like a great idea. Let me not take cover or anything. Yes. Okay, there seems to be a firefight going on around here. And grenades. Seems like a lot of grenades going off.
Hmm, well, I don't see anyone around the corner here, but you know how that can be. It's very, very deceptive in my opinion. Anyway, let's just continue to move people in here. As there's only six remaining. And there is actually one over there. That was amusing. I literally thought that wheelbarrow was actually a person. Yes. Well, sometimes they, they you know, the the war of the wheelbarrows. It's gonna it's gonna be coming up very very soon. People are gonna be saying, "Oh, I remember Gardener's World back in the day. They were a very peaceful peaceful program, and now and now they're they're, they're causing wheelbarrow wars all over the place." Yeah, you 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 probably won't get that joke unless you. I've seen some English TV, but yeah. Oh, I thought that was actually an enemy there. Just one of our guys. Don't worry about it. Oh, he's actually shooting. Oh, uh, is that actually? Wait a minute. That's one of our companions, isn't it? I, I, I spot a, a VIM marksman rifle from, from a mile away. That's actually very cool. Thank you for telling me there was someone in here, though. That's very good. He wasn't that effective with it, unfortunately, because he was just like, yes, let me fire at the wall. Well, there's only two remaining. I actually have no idea where they are. We've moved all of our people in, so I have no idea. It could be that they are in the back, up the hill here somewhere, but uh, I guess we'll search around a little bit for them. Alright, so I think I've actually narrowed down where the enemy actually is from many, many people getting murdered by him. I think he's actually in here. Do you see that? Wow. Right, yeah. That was pretty crazy. That guy was... I actually don't know where he was because I can't actually move around right now, but he was kind of like prone in... I don't, I don't think he was in the wall, but I think he was in like a room and he was able to shoot through the wall or something like that? I actually have no idea, but he was murdering absolutely everyone that walked by. So that's obviously not great. But obviously, early access, you know, you gotta, you gotta just think about that. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's actually a good amount of cash right there. Just a huge amount of cash in loot and in actual cash itself. I'm actually gonna swap these shotgun rounds and we're just going to take a little bit of extra loot right there. Even though, as I've said multiple times, being able to sell uh, at each town and actually only being able to sell about 6,000 worth of goods, it's kind of difficult because some of the goods that we're picking up right here are much, much more expensive to sell, much more profitable. And uh, the merchants just do not have enough. They really don't. Alright, so let's have a look. Any, anyone else leveled up? Okay, so these guys could definitely use a couple of supplements, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And we'll place a couple in here as well. That's generally what I tend to use prisoners for, and, uh, you know, it's kind of good because it does, as I say, add that little bit of extra versatility to those squads. And uh, we leveled up. Oh, wow. It's been a long time since I have leveled up, so I don't exactly know what to do here. It's been a while since I've leveled up intelligence. Maybe we want to do that, but I still want to go for more HP, personally. So I'm going to continue going for that. And we'll go for a little little point in instructor there as well. And let's just get a couple more points in machine gun. And then I think what we're going to do is we're just going to sell our gear at Chinivka. And then we'll think about going to the other, uh, the other towns as well. It seems like we are in a really really good position right here. I mean, look at this. I can just sell this machine gun right away for 3,200. And these guys don't have anything. They don't have anything on that. They, they, they just don't have enough. So I'm going to have to do this kind of a little bit sketchy because I don't, I don't really know how I'm supposed to do that. Anyway, let's just, uh, yeah, as I, as I said, <laughs> that's kind of difficult. Okay. Well, I, I guess I can just sell some of the lesser lesser gear, I, I, I suppose. Yeah, 2,000. I guess I'll just sell one of these vests and maybe these pants. There we go. That seems good. Let's buy some first aid kits while we're at it. 
And uh, we're going to place some. There we go. All right. That seems good to me. All right. So let's actually just take a quick look and see what's going on at Zashkiv. Because we could technically take Lubni, but that is the Pozna. Hmm. The Pozna are going to be kind of difficult for us, even though we have, I think, eliminated most of their generals, if not all of their generals. Let's actually just take a quick look at that. Oh, oh, okay, so apparently the ARF don't have any generals remaining. Oh, and apparently the FCA don't have any generals remaining, so I'm not entirely sure why they haven't been eliminated. That's kind of weird. And, of course, we do have... Oh. The generals actually... Oh, okay, okay. So the generals of the Pozna are actually still active. It would be kind of nice for us to get into a battle with them. I have no idea where they are, though, and I don't exactly know whether they're getting embroiled in any battles either. So let's actually just try and move here. It seems like the game is is struggling a little bit with uh, allowing me to move here. Ah, there he is. There's Igor, and he has 103. He has 20 Pozna sharpshooters. Huh. I don't know whether we'll be able to tackle this guy. He has almost double our units as well. Well, if we are going to attack him, we're going to do it in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.